part two of our catacomb build. So what we've decided to do is we're going to take this top one off and put it beside this one. So we're going to build half ones and we're going to put them on the top. So we're only going to have three catacombs. Well, everything I've built, I want it to be eight feet. So what I'm going to do is do the other two feet. We're going to put up and we're going to make it a skull wall. So we'll have skulls down 16 foot or so on our top tier. So right now we're just mocking up the, the single ones and we're going to go from there. So we're going to let you watch us do that.
So what I'm doing guys is I'm putting dirt, sawdust, and some black flat paint. And this is just going to give it a little bit of a texture and that's how we're going to do this. Uh, I was going to use some great stuff, but I changed my mind. I want to try to keep it simple and easy to repair if we need to repair it. And great stuff will just uh, start chipping off if it gets touched. So we're just going to do it this way. And as you can see, it's going to give it a little bit of a texture. It's just used sawdust and dirt and stuff that we had here in the garage. So some little bit of uh, wood chips. We're gonna mix it up real good. Nice and thick, almost like a tar. Tar. Like a tar. Uh, you see the texture in that? It's got some good texture. So we'll paint with that.
Anyway guys, I went through and I dry brushed some gray that I mixed up and now I got a little bit of brown. Uh, this is just cheap paint I got from Home Depot. No, it's just somebody made it and didn't want it so I got it for like 10 bucks. So we're just highlighting, just trying to put some more highlights in and I'll probably get some greens to put in it. Just uh, so we can kill some of this black and gray. That's all I'm doing now. So what I got now guys is green. We're gonna try some green. Find the brush. What do I do with my brush? Cover up in there. Oh, that's the one I was using. There it is. Yeah, just put some green.
All right, guys, here's our catacombs. Uh, we've got a total of six feet tall, eight feet long. And uh, what we're gonna do next, will probably be another video, is I'm gonna add another two foot up here, only it's just gonna be a facade wall, and I'm gonna add skulls to 16 foot of that. So I'm getting ready to do some uh, skull casting. And uh, I'll show you how I do that with the molds and stuff I got. I got it from Pacific Mold Design. Uh, so we're going to make some of those. And it's going to take a while to make those and keep going, keep going. Because that's 16 foot, of, 16 foot by 2 foot uh, wall. It's going to be a lot of skulls. So we're going to start on those. We're going to make some of those. So I will make some of those and we'll come back and uh, do a little walk around on this here. So let's go make some skulls. These big skulls, these small ones. I've done. I've got a video somewhere where I've used these already. But uh, we're gonna make three or four of these every day. I'm, I come over so we can stay up on these before I go home. Then when I come in the next day, they'll be dry and ready to pop out of the mold and all that good stuff. So. We already got some water. We're going to add some uh, plaster of Paris in there. That's the gloves, too. Did it get under your skin or? No, nah, it's just easier because it's a, it's a nasty mess. Uh, hard right. clothes. I mean, it'll dry your hands out if you. Is this there is no kind of concrete. Yeah. Is there no formula to it? Just buy it to just the right thickness? Yep, just yeah. get it to how thick you want it. Go get it to where you can pour it. Is it the thicker, the quicker it dries? No. Okay, I didn't know if it's set the same time. You, you want to, uh, you want to, probably less than peanut butter. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can pour it in the mold, and, uh, and you don't even have to go real thick with it. But, uh, and those are just single piece molds, and not two piece molds. Right? Yeah, they're just single piece. Okay. I'm, I'm working at the foundry. We did a lot of moldings, so well, I was doing iron, of course. You ever use the airbrush spray thing, paint wise? Uh, I haven't here lately, but uh, I used to use it. Yeah, cool. I still got it at the house. I've never used I used automotive paints because I did I painted pictures and oh yeah stuff like that. So I never painted any mask or any latex or anything like that. Yeah, that's kind of what I was alluding to. What about the plaster of Paris skulls? Get, you gonna have any tail with like a brush or just gonna, will it come out just? No, it'll come out solid white like this. Okay. And you'll take, uh, what I'll do with them, because I like the look, is I'll take instant coffee, mm -hmm. add some water to it. Right. And uh, the, the less water you add to it, the, the darker it is. And uh, then I'll just uh, brush it on with a regular brush. And uh, you'd be amazed uh, to look at the skulls I got on the, the horse drawn hearse. Right. That's all coffee stained. I'll check it out then. Yeah, I, I'm just curious. You don't mind me asking a question. Some of your viewers might want to know too. It's just coffee, just coffee stain. Hey, you can paint them. I mean, the, the back with the big one I did on the back mm -hmm. is coffee stained and I highlighted it in uh, copper. Oh, so, yeah. Notice the copper look on it. So. Right there's about where I want it. The stuff that drips pretty good, huh? Yeah, it, it's uh, it'll flow into the mold real good. Yeah, it won't take, it didn't take long to do those, does it? No, nah, just it's just matter of fact. How long does it take them to set? <clears throat> uh, Overnight. It depends right on the temperature. Oh, okay. If it's hot outside, a couple hours. Right. Cold it is now. It'll take. Uh, 
four or five hours, six hours, uh -huh. something like that. It all depends. Designed to hold more. Pop this yeah. These here, just take them and uh, tap them down. You don't have to fill these all the way up. When they set, does it feel like kind of like a cast wood, like you put on your arm? Yeah. Exactly like that. Just about like that. Uh, cool. So I fill these up about three quarters full. These here will go. I'll use the rest of this and these. And what the molds cost? Uh, I think for these four molds is about a hundred and thirty bucks or something like that. Wow. I can't remember exactly. That's another thing. I didn't expect that. I about to take about $19 a piece or something. Nah. The only thing you can get, man, it's going to cost you a freaking arm leg. I imagine, especially the ones you can reuse over here. Yeah. Because they would have a peak sales on them. Well, these are AB, ABS plastic, so they're real good foam. Um, we've spoken to the guy that makes them. So. He does this, he does them in his spare time right now. He's trying to get his business going where he can uh, do it full time. Cause he's, he's getting to the point where, you know, it's a lot of work for him, uh, which is good, you know. Uh, yeah, computers start out in the garage <laughs> yeah. with two guys. Two very smart guys, why is he a job? So there we go. Now we'll just let these set up and uh, we'll glue these boogers on the on the walls when we get them ready to rock and roll. I'll just keep making them every day. I'll come in and I'll make four or, or eight of them or whatever kind of time I got until we get enough to uh, do the walls. Bad if you just use your bare hands. Once I get the sink in here, it won't be so bad. All right. So there's the skulls, guys. So we'll let these dry. We'll keep making these every day. We'll come in and make, you know, four or eight or however many we can as we're working on other projects. Then we'll uh, go through and and make our skull wall. I think. The skull wall is going to be heavy. That's going to be a two foot by eight foot piece. And these things are heavy by themselves. So we'll see how that turns out. All right, guys, there you go. This is uh, part two of the catacomb build. Uh, we've got Mr. Rod in there, corpse in there. We've got a skeleton at the top up here. So the next thing will be the skull wall. So uh, we'll get some more skeletons and skulls and whatnot, bones and whatnot. We've got three more down here to fill up. Uh, maybe need some uh, rotten corpse. We'll make some corpse and stuff like that and put in here. So we just wanted to show you the part two of this. It might be two or three days or so before I get back over here and make some more and put in here. So we hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, it don't have to be perfect, just build it. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you, each and every one of you watching. Uh, if you have any comments or uh, any suggestions on how to do this, please let me know. Uh, we did put about four, three different colors on this, uh, base black, and we put uh, sawdust in the black paint to give it some kind of texture to cover up the wood grain a little bit. And we went through with a, a gray, a green, and a brownish color, and we just uh, dry brushed all that on there, just kind of 
kill the black paint on there. All right, guys. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next video. <laughs>